Sam Hunt aka Golf Bag Hunt, was born Samuel McPherson Hunt in Birmingham, Alabama. After graduating from Ellerton High School, it was rare for a gangster of that generation to have accomplished that much of a formal education. He had a run-in with the local police on July 10, 1919 for grand larceny. In that case, Hunt and a young man named Mac Hale stole a truck from the Jefferson Lumber Company. For some odd reason, that same truck had been stolen and recovered three times in the past. Hunt was fined $25 and given a six-month suspended sentence on a grand larceny charge. Hunt left Alabama for Detroit in 1920 to live with a cousin Hobart Hunt. For a while, Hunt worked as an apprentice machinist in a tire factory and eventually moved on to Chicago and worked in the Capone organization. His lieutenant was Hyman Gottfried, a.k.a. High Gottfried, in May 1930. Hunt was arrested as a member of a shotgun squad that kidnapped and wounded a man. Hunt was found at the scene with a discharged shotgun in a golf bag and he was driving the getaway car carrying the victim when he was arrested. The case was, remarkably, null processed by the state on April 10, 1931. Emulating Capone, he preferred to be called Mr. Hunt by those he employed and newspaper people. Hunt was the suspected killer of Hemi Weiss. In 1933, he received a one-year jail term for carrying a concealed weapons charge. Over the next 10 years, he was arrested many times following gang slayings, but was never successfully prosecuted, including an incident in 1942 when Hunt was involved in an automobile accident. An argument followed, and the driver of the car was shot and killed. Hunt was wounded. He and his driver, High Godfrey, were indicted, but after four trials, they were found not guilty on January 11, 1943. In 1943, following the murders of Danny Stanton and Martin Sonny Boy Quirk, Hunt became a power in Chicago's South Side gambling racket. In 1944, Hunt was an official of the Drexel Wine and Liquor Company, located at 39th and Cottage Grove Avenue. He also had a controlling interest in the Cookwell Company, as well as an interest in a tavern at 63rd and Cottage Grove Avenue, Chicago. In the early 1950s, Hunt was at the forefront of taking over the Erie Buffalo Policy Wheel, one of the largest on the South Side. Hunt and company had muscled the operation from the ill-fated Benvenuti brothers. Sometime around 1955, Hunt, a heavy smoker and in poor health from heart problems and the effects of rheumatic fever as a child, moved to Florida. He was visiting family in Schenectady, New York when he fell ill with pneumonia and died on August 23, 1956. He was buried alongside his parents in Birmingham, Alabama at the Elmwood Cemetery.